All right, so I, I've been trying to figure out a fun segue to tell this story, but I'm just going to tell it at Retep's expense because it's pretty funny. Oh, perfect. It's, uh, it's, it's not really at your expense. It's mostly at, at, to the detriment of me, but I, I actually, <laughs> as it comes to ass kissing, I actually thought it was kind of sweet of you. So two days ago, I get a text from Retep, and he goes, hey, man, how's your day? And I was like, it's fine, thanks. And he <laughs> writes back, he's like, cool. There's some shit about you floating around on the Internet do you want me to share it with you or will that ruin your day? And I was like, no, Peter, I think you can share it with me. I'd rather see it than not. And he goes, okay, super sweet, like nice passive text messages, like genuinely asking me as opposed to like what Patrick would do, be like, look at this asshole, ha ha. Uh, yep. And uh, so, so I'm, I'm bracing for the worst over here. I'm like, Jesus Christ, like what is there? Is there, is there something, some like slam piece? Is someone le- leaked some nudes? Like what, what's going on? Like Retep's, Retep ferrets this stuff out. Anyway, we'll pull up the cartoon that Retep found. And turns out, not that, turns out that it was um, everybody's favorite thylacine awareness group, our buddy Neil Waters, who apparently we have absolutely detrimentally upset because he keeps getting meaner and meaner about everything he on the internet. Stop when I'm thinking about us. He cannot yeah, he stop ca- thinking he cannot. about us. When yeah, we, I, we live actually, rent free in his head. It's great. We really do. And I'm <laughs> confused by it because I was the guy who was like, good for you, Neil. Like, I don't think you got a thylacine, but I love what you're doing. And now he's like super upset and angry. So apparently he created this cartoon, which if you can see it, if you're listening on uh, <laughs> iTunes, what it is is it's Neil Waters looking insanely jacked with great hair, two things that he's not. Look how right no, he's not, yeah, correct. Yeah. He's not well, jacked. He's obese. No, no offense. He's, he's, not that it's he, bad. I'm just saying he made gentleman. himself look um, really jacked Riding here. a very cool-looking thylacine. And in front of that, and this is the part that I'm most confused about, and I think I figured it out, Ritep. There's a guy, a biologist, older-looking gentleman, riding a kangaroo saying, run, fallwest, run, with a W. I'm not sure why I'm fallwest, but maybe I have a slur. Actually, a, um, actually, uh, there's been speculation on that, and that's a homophobic remark from some of the Australian uh, brosners have uh, mentioned. So, uh, again, fuck you, Neil. So Intra- wow, okay, interesting. I didn't know W's Sorry. were homophobic. Good thing my name. <laughs> they also <laughs> guess. They <laughs> also. That's they new. also guess that you wouldn't know that. So. so. I didn't. I didn't. I just yeah. thought that they thought I had a speech impediment. But um, okay. Either way, yeah. So I didn't. Couldn't. So I when I first saw this cartoon, I thought that was me. But then the cartoon caricature of the guy riding the kangaroo who says run forest run i realize i'm the little guy down in the corner who's running away with the great hat and the phenomenal beard of which i'm actually quite proud of um in this cartoon Mm -hmm. and yeah and and so i first of all it's just super confusing i'm gonna let patrick take a stab at this i'm pretty sure it's the first time he's seen it what do you think's going on in this cartoon Patrick? let me read the caption too because the caption's important me and forrest are trying to figure this out and as well as some of the brosners yeah the caption reads, to go along with the cartoon, history can cause people to act in all manner off, of oh, offbeat oh. ways. In all manner of offbeat ways. In all manner of offbeat ways. We, we so, got it, Retap. Thanks. So, yeah, so there's a few I problems. I was trying to understand. There's, there's, a, there's quite a few problems here. <laughs> yeah. So first of all, t- is Neil wearing uh, a COVID mask in this? I think he wants that to be his beard. Uh, so, oh, that's supposed to be his beard. I didn't know what uh, it was, to be honest. I thought it might be a face mask. Anyway. Yeah, it might be a face mask. It totally still could be. I don't hey, know. Hey, quick question, Forrest. Yeah. Could a full-sized man ride a thylacine? Because that thylacine's gigantic. That's like the size of a, of, a, uh, of a Bengal tiger. But I'm pretty sure a thylacine is much smaller than that. Um, First of all, no, not any full-size man. Maybe you, Patrick, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm playing on Retep's meager thing. Um, no, I but get it. Uh, Neil Waters weighs at least 280 pounds minimum. Like the, we're not <laughs> stating this is fact, but it's he looks to. He's a he, he's a bigger guy. I don't think he could ride a horse, let alone a thylacine. So yeah, <laughs> so, no. It's, <laughs> so the thylacine is way too big. Now. This is yeah. the guy yeah. who runs the thylacine awareness group. I would at least hope right. that he would know how big the animal he's searching for is. You know, well, in, instead of a domestic cat. Uh, I don't know. What a twat. What a fucking twat. But here's the part that confused me, and I think I figured it out. <laughs> Look at the guy riding the kangaroo. That's not me. I'm the guy running. Right. Run, fall, Who's run. telling you to so run? That's, that who was my that? question. Rutep, right, do you know right. who it is? I think I know who it is. I think I figured it out. 
I, I, I don't know. Oh. Is it like Coyote Peterson? I, I don't know. It's Nick Who's Mooney. It's, it's Nick Mooney. Oh, it's Nick my God. And that's his report. That's his little piece of paper in front of the kangaroo saying that it's bullshit. And here comes Neil as the king on the thylacine. Of wow. course, yelling at the two credible scientists to, you know, he's going to beat him up with his fist on his mighty thylacine. Yeah. And, and <laughs> Nick Mooney I think and I are running out. away. Oh, I think that's okay. it. So what you it gotta is, send this is to Nick Mooney. It's him on the thylacine. <laughs> Yeah, Neil uh, Nick Mooney is is riding a patamelon because he yep. said I think that the yep. the animal on this yes. video is a patamelon, and then yeah. because we didn't in no way have we ever trashed him except for I guess Ritz <laughs> once until he got right angry. Now. No yeah. post post when he tried to illegally take our videos. Yeah, down. once That's he true. tried to do something ridiculous and illegal, uh, then we started trashing him, but. Boy, oh boy, this just tells you what not to do in general in life. It's like if someone totally. disagrees with you, that's usually not an impetus to just burn everything to the ground, right? Correct. Nick, Nick Correct. Mooney was cool enough. By the way, Nick Mooney is a fucking badass, legit He's awesome, scientist dude. who spent 50 years in the bush and he took the time to analyze his photos, right? Yep. Correct. He certainly didn't need to do that. He could have just been like, this is blurry crap, ignore. Right, right. And, but he didn't and, do that. As, a, as well, a good guy and good scientist, he actually went and looked at them. The, the problem with this is that the Thylacine Awareness Group of Australia, led by Neil Waters, is contesting. They're saying that we want to find the thylacine, right? And there's all this passion behind it. There's all, all of this fucking, you know, machismo for coming from Neil Waters. But the second that they, they, they release these photos and there's any disagreement, he just turns into a petulant right. little child. And this is the leader of this group and it discredits the, any efforts in the future that this group makes aside from the already super passionate super niche people that are in this group. I mean, he's made himself publicly look invalid, like whatever he yeah, now is sad. going to release. It is sad. It's well, bad you, you for know the what? thylacine. And like, I'm sorry if, if, if uh, what's his name? I forget his name, Neil. If he listens to this and gets even more upset. But the sad thing is like, if he now gets a picture that would 90% be conclusive, it's going to be relatively discredited because it's coming from the same person that responded like this. That's what, that's Correct. what's sad about it because yep. you know, I'm the kind exactly. of, I'm the kind of guy that when you show me something, even as a scientist, if I go, wow, that is real. Like it's with our Zanzibar leopard. Like that was a hundred percent a leopard on camera, right? Do we yes. have DNA? No, we never got it. I wish we had. Doesn't matter. Here's a leopard crystal clear. Bam. Right. Like, and that sparked a bunch of conservation efforts. If Neil, and, and I pray to God that he gets this, gets that thylacine footage, people are going to start thinking it's bullshit because of the way he, the knee-jerk reaction he's had to people's responses to his cryptic photos. And that sucks because he's, like, setting himself up for failure ahead of time. Legitimate concerns about the photo. You know, how are it's it's like when you tell somebody, I, I don't think it's exactly what you think it is, and he's like, fuck you, you're a moron. It's yeah, like, right. what? Like, where's right. the conversation around it? Like, where we didn't say anything bad in the in the original breakdown videos. We were, I mean, you were super nice and cordial about it. You, we were just like, it doesn't look like it to me. And and I'll admit, <laughs> I am not. I'll admit, I am not an expert. As Neil said, I'm just a DJ or whatever. You're a DJ. And that's, that's fine. Cool. That's what he called like, called I know, him. Like, a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but but I'm like, you know, my opinion is my opinion. I'm not saying anything. It's up to the public to decide who they want to believe. And and you know, you know, you don't make yourself look credible when somebody criticizes or has objections to something you do or say, and then all you do is spew out insults at them publicly everywhere. It makes yeah, you look a bummer. buffoonish. Yeah. Anyway, so. look, let's not harp on that. The main point of this story was two things. One is I thought the cartoon was really funny, and it, yeah, it, it, it took me looking at it for a while to figure out that, that I think that was Nick Mooney on a pot, Patty Melon telling it's me to run. Be. Yeah, and that, I, you're right. also, that's his report. 
Yeah. I've also learned something it. new today, which is that the letter W is a, is a homophobic slur. So I'm definitely like going to start. It's like run forest one. Like right, run yeah. forest one. Yeah, yeah. shut up like, Patwick. Like... Shut up Patwick. I'm going to start. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Like he's because he's, <laughs> right, right. he's gay. I get it. Yeah. Uh, it's exactly. new to me, but I get it. But the main part of the story was the fact that Ritep so gingerly asked me and I thought there was just going to be this devastating slam piece on me out in the world. And it was this, which well, I listen, actually like, really like. Guys, like yeah. we have to work together and like I've been sending you so much of this bullshit because the brosners put it in the discord which yeah. is uh wildtimes.club by the way if you want to join that where we talk about all this shit and i'm like all right like today i feel like if he's having a bad day and i just send him like something that's just purely making fun of him it, it might not be like i don't know i don't want to just like ruin your day and then, so now I know. I'm just going to send you everything as it Go comes for in. It, man. So, I don't, Grossners, I, you, take a all lot more the than thylacine, a, all the Neil water shit, DM it to Forrest, DM it to me. We, we I don't want have time for that. Yeah, let's, let's. Well, he won't look at it if you DM. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure to filter it and <laughs> to go get through it, it and send him. 